Lakini pia kuwa na uwazi wa kuzungumza kwa bunge letu before we commit our young men and women to do duty on an international scale kama hiyo kuna umuhimu mkubwa kabisa viongozi ambao wamechaguliwa na wengi wao wanahusishwa kwa hivyo bunge every time na hii tabia ya kushambulia pia mahakama askofu muombe sana kushambulia mahakama yani mtu amekula kiapo <laughs> kusema he will defend this constitution hai as by law established na Mungu amsaidie and the next thing ni kusema kukutolewa eh, different types of decision then unakeuka the same katiba kweli kuna haja kuwaombea wa viongozi wajue commitment when you take the instruments of power you take them eh, na hiyo instrument moja ikiwa ni a sword tulisikia wengine wakisema hiyo hakupatiwa bure sio ya kukatakata sukuma wiki what country are we living in we either a country under the rule of law or under the rule of the jungle and i think kenyans have decided to be able to call a spade a spade every step of the way irrespective of time because personally i think we have a lot of work to do to correct the injustices that have been brought about by a uh, wrongful type of administration i want to urge those we, go, we given or ambao wamechukua mamlaka kwa njia ambao wamechukua wajue watu wa uganda vile vile one time and idi amin walikuwa wamechukuliwa mamlaka bishop utanisaidia the book of romans in, in, insists that we must obey uh, those who are given authority <laughs> and you know we do that and that is why tunanyenyekea mbele yake askofu na wengine we are doing that but a majority leader but there comes a time famously said by a son of kajiado soil the late george saitoti he was a mathematician he said there come a time alikuwa amekasirika sana and i was there when we have to stand up and say it as it is and when we say don't be worried about time kenyans are able to judge every step of the way whether you are committed or whether you have told enough uh, lies uh, and if you think the word lies is an is an parliamentary i refer you to what once was said by one famous scholar uh Kodek. He was Minister for Foreign Affairs. He was challenged by the late Martin Shikuku, member for <laughs> uh, Butere for a long time. Uh, Kodek akasirika sana na vile Shikuku alikuwa anamsumbua. Because Shikuku said, "Mr. Speaker, this this minister is telling, telling lies." Uh, so my lies and it's not parliamentary. So what Kodek did was very learned. He said that uh, now <laughs> if you don't like the lies, the word lies, the member for Butere has been uh, involved in <laughs> terminological inexactitudes. <laughs> <laughs> There we are going. We will be going. Therefore join us. I ask you to join us in a crusade. Crusade to change these countries very tough history terrible mistakes we want to change it for good once and for all wangapi wanaamini we are going to do so it's a crusade yani hii ni crusade tumeanza tutaenda as a team na ndugu Eugene hapa na ndugu zetu wale wengine wazimio crusaders crusaders to save this wonderful nation perchance it will continue to be the beacon the beacon the beacon of hope in our region we have first of all to begin putting kenya together for real and we shall say no to anybody who wants to uh, govern this country against the rule of law and what the constitution says kwa hivyo mkianza in the next few days we are sitting in parliament in the counter assemblies remember we have a duty to do country is looking for straight leaders 
sio watu wanadanganya na leo Kenya wanadanganya na wengine the same kind of uh, naysaying and when you do so as a team as a mere team please demonstrate decency between yourselves ingine mutatupiwa 